see the church. I don't know how you get to it. I might have to walk to it. Park in that village hall. Unless there's a sign to it, but then there might not be anywhere to park. Over there for a minute till I get to the church. I'm wandering up some drive. I don't know where it goes. If it goes to the church or some mansion house. There was a sign to the church and then it disappeared. I might be able to see it from here. That's what I mean. It's so difficult when you can't find something. Because if the church is up here, I'll drive up here. Eight minutes. So Sammy Barbary. Yeah. It was at New Mills. New Mills, yeah. Oh right, yeah. But I can't. I don't know what his wife is called. So there's a few round here then. Yeah, he's got 22 in the family. 22. Oh yeah. yeah. And they buried up the church there. Yeah. Um, there's a daughter living in the Kensovers. Oh right, a Barbary, but she might be married. She's called Frances at the moment. Yeah. She was called Melba Barbary. Oh. And there's another sister, a twin sister, Margaret. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, then. Well, that's lovely. Now, Thanks very um, much. Melba lives in next to the last one. That's in the coach houses? Yeah. Oh, right. It's called EMCT, really. Yeah. Um, well, I'm doing a scan at the moment for the rest of the family, but... Um, we're in the church, George. And then go that way. Then you go down around an island. Oh, right, and yeah. And then you'll see in the new part. Oh, I yeah. I know because I cut the grass up. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> well, that's handy. Part, instead of going towards the new part, go straight down. It's about four row down on your left. Okay, and that'll help. <laughs> I expect you'll find he's all trimmed up nice because Jack can look after him. That's Melba's husband. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much. Right. Yeah, thank you. Right, I just had a chat with a local villager then, um, who um, cuts the grass and that up the graveyard, and he's pointing out where I could roughly find the uh, Barbary grave. He said there's a lot round here, and there was 22 in that family of Sam Barbary, and one of the daughters, I think, she married into a Francis family. But he's told me where to go now, so I'm going back up to the van, <coughs> drive round, keep going straight on, <coughs> turn left where there's some council houses, go, keep going to the end of the council houses, then turn left again, and it'll be there. Yeah, he said, um, two Barbary daughters live in the council houses. <coughs> of course, we can't go visiting people yet without the proper links to connect it up. <coughs> oh, it certainly keeps you fit around here, you know. Because I'm having to walk back out of the van. Oh, I have I've got that bit of him on tape, bit of Cornish accent there. Back in the van, there's a woman with a twin buggy going downhill. She's got to come back up in a minute. I told her good luck. Oh, I think I'm going to have to have a Coke. Oh, did you, you learn a bit. See, he said there's uh, a lot of barberies around here. And new mills. He, he didn't say it like that, he had a Cornish way of saying it. There's a few down there, but there isn't any church there, just a chapel. And this is the main church around here. But, still got to do the link yet, see, but I'm doing it. Doing the, the searching. Some mirrors should be interesting as well, because there's. Let's get on. What time is it? Quarter past two.
you see if I had somebody in the van with me now, doing all this in and out, walking up hills, getting up, bothered, not knowing where you're going, I can't imagine any of them wanting to do it. So I won't be able to cope with it, the exercise. Well, I'm not saying she couldn't cope, she, she don't like walking up hills. Um, so, and then you've got to walk around the graveyards as well. It's pretty hectic, but I like doing it. Right, I'm going past the council houses now. There was a sign to the church then. So the Barbary's up this way, and names, you know, we've married, Barbary's been married. They live in the council houses. Oh, yeah. to the church now. Church of England School. You should be able to see the church in a minute. That's the school. These kids are all out the way at the moment. Still can't see the church yet. I hope it can be signposted. Right, I'm going, oh there's the church, I can see it now. Hopefully it'd be somewhere to park. There's the rectory. There. There's the church. And I'll park right here. Right, that Dot Parish Church. Miners, who died April the 17th, 1871, aged 73, and John, her husband, who died 1879, aged 79, and James, who died 1898, aged 70, and then in the same grave square, you've got Catherine, beloved wife of... Charles, who died 1908, age 64. And then uh, there's two great big um, table-like things with miners on, with big slate slabs. There's um, William Miner um, of Verian, son of John and Mary Miners of Penpel in the parish of Cornelly who departed this life, 1813, age 35, also Elizabeth Miners, late of Castle Zenz in the parish of Ver Verian, eldest daughter of the above, John and Mary Miners, and she died 1832, age 68. So that's a big miners grave, and there's another one next to it. So I'm doing the miners as well. And who's that in there? That's a miners as well. Um, Benjamin. I think it says Benjamin. I don't know. The oh, the remains of Mary Miners, wife of John, who died. Oh God, I can't read. I can't see. A minute. Cornelli again, who died 1778 43, and John Miners, formerly of this parish, who died 18th of April 1815, aged 70. At the right lies their son, George Miners, who died 1777 aged 9. So I'll take a picture of these because these could be related to Zora. Right, right behind those two great big slabs table-like structures, you've got John Miners of Tree Worgan in the parish of Probus, who departed life 31st of December 1844, age 68. Also Gertrude wife, who died in 1853. So these could be Zoras because they're in Miners. Now here's a strange name. Anne Pucky. Died 1900, age 62. And 
Saint Walter Charles, who died in South America in 1883, age 49. It's an unusual name. I found a really good Barbary grave. Very good condition, very clear. So I'll be impressed. In loving memory of Joseph Barbary, who died February the 10th, 1898, age 82. Also of Mary, his wife, who died January the 11th, 1891, age 80. Also of John, their son, who died March the 1st, 1884, age 41. Also their infant daughter, um, they don't say who she was. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Erected by his grandson, George Barbary. And next to it, I can see the name Barbary. Elizabeth Barbary died in 1865. It's very, very faint, this one. I can't read it all, but that's they're right next to each other. That's like striking gold, that is, isn't it? You stick out so well. They're at the tower end of the church, facing the tower door. Barbaries. There are um, in front of them are the crockers. And there might even be more Barbaries yet. Who's this here? This might be a Barbary corner. Tanks. Thomas Tank. Thomas Tank. Thomas John Tank. Lots of tanks. Lots of Thomas Tanks. There's also um, another William Henry. Beloved husband of Fanny A. Cock, who died at Newquay in 1898, age 32. Right, I found another Barbary grave. Mary Ann Hill, beloved wife of William Barbary, who died at Mel Melidor St. Stephen's, April 28, 1919, age 70. Also William Barbary, who died at... Um, Iron Mine Farm, April 17th, 1924, age 69. Never shall they memory fade. That's an upright stone with a little floral design on it and a rounded head. So that's um, William and Mary Ann. William Barbary and Mary Ann Hill. I've just come across a new Barbary. Emily May Barbary, loving wife, mum, gran. Great Gran, 1926 and 1995. Also, Desmond Claude Barbary, loving husband, dad, grumpy, grumpy, great grumpy, 1929 to 2004. So that's a new one. So we've got Desmond Claude Barbary. It's a standard modern stone. Um, Grey speckled marble. It's got flowers on it, so it is visited, and there's a, a young one. But it's best to get even the young ones done now. Um, and next to that grave, there's a Mike Danning, 1934 to 1995. Next to the other side of the Barbary grave is Clifford Cooper, 1918 to 1996. Behind them is a Clarence Yelland age 81 when he died in 2004 and um, his wife Doreen, I don't know where she is and a Goodman who was 83 when he died in 2004 so that's a new Barbary grave all comes in handy when tracing back to the trees of course there could be other ones, women in here with different names Right up in the far reaches of the graveyard now. Right in the corner, a nice view of the church with all the stones in front. A bit more Barbary country, as stated by the gentleman I spoke to earlier, the local gardener and grass cutter. This is the darker area. And this camera says it isn't any good for uh, night time. We might get back in the sunlight in a minute. Here is um, 
a newish looking grave in loving memory of Stuart Barbary. We shall not forget you, although we are apart. Your love will live forever here within our hearts. God bless. So that's a Stuart Barbary. And it's got a little heart-shaped stone on it and some flowers. It doesn't say when he died or anything, but it looks quite recent. It doesn't even say his age. Um, they might have just put that on there while they're waiting for a bigger stone. Well, that's a Stuart Barbary, anyway. <coughs> Next to him, there's a Henry John Arthur Sanders. <coughs> and his wife. Yeah, one of the Barbary ladies married a Francis family. There's Elizabeth Francis wife of Nic Nicholas Francis, who died 1834, age 66. That's in good condition. An upright slate, very well engraved. Right, that's the church of Gladcock completed. I'm just going to go inside now.